Building an app that allows users to interact with each other? Chances are, they'll want to share more than just text. After all, a GIF is worth at least a thousand words. They might also share videos or files of many different types. You'll need to save all these files somewhere, and that's where cloud storage comes in. Cloud storage is a managed storage solution for unstructured data, so you can store files which can be accessed with links. You can save your users' files to cloud storage so they can be shared with anyone else. Cloud storage stores your files in buckets, which are presented in the same structure as a file system, so you can use directories and subdirectories to keep your files organized. When coding, using cloud storage is all about references to locations in the buckets. To upload or download files to and from cloud storage, grab a reference to the bucket location and use the ref method to get the top level bucket. Then use the child method on that reference to navigate to the subdirectories. To upload a file, reference the full path where the file will live, including the file name, even if that file doesn't currently exist in cloud storage. From there, grab the file from your machine and upload it using the put file method. Downloading files works similarly. Start by grabbing a reference to a file and get its download URL. Now you can display the image using this URL the same way you display any other network image in Flutter. You can also download files or lists of files as data to save locally or in memory. If you only want to share files with certain users, you can use Firebase authentication and security rules with cloud storage to protect the files. The best part? Cloud storage has a generous free tier to get you started today. For more info on cloud storage and all the other packages, head to pub.dev.